Hey, can I just say we're looking like the Brady Bunch right now? Just on the- <laughs> hey, 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 the largest panel that it ever we've ever had on the show. We got all nine of y'all in here, all right? We got Primal, we got Poppy down here, all right? We got we got the full house, so we gonna really light it up for the last 10 hey, minutes. We got but- the Michael Bell dog. Hey, we got the- hey, we got that. What, hey, what's the puppy's name? What's the puppy's name? Coco, we got Coco in the building too. We got Honey and Coco in the same building. That's crazy. Hey, welcome, Primal. Welcome, Poppy. All right, what do you guys have on the discussion that we're having? All right, we got a full house. Let's get it. If you're working a big boy job, you Matter better fact. be ready. You better be ready to leave if you're gonna date somebody you work with. Thank you. Thank you. If you're a if you're a manager, if you're making a six figures, if you're working a big boy job. And you date somebody, you you better be ready to leave because you are at risk of getting a Me Too. You're at risk of getting canceled, and it doesn't even have to be true. It can just be the rumor of it. They won't lie so on if, your ass. If, if, you're, if you're slinging if you're slinging coffee at Starbucks, go for it. But if you're <laughs> if you've made it, it's a lot of risk with a little reward. I mean, it's yeah. easy to go meet yeah. people other places. It is. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be honest with you. If you're if you're in that kind of place in your life, go meet other places. It's not that yeah. hard. And also, don't you exactly. want to break from the person that you're dating? Isn't work <laughs> kind of nice to get away from them for a little bit? Do you really want to wake up with them in the morning and then ride with them to work and then come back <laughs> home and then, and then go to sleep? Like, when am I going to get my time? <laughs> Hey, uh, you know what? There's some interesting points, Primal. That's real thought. That's real thought. That's an interesting point. Papi Blanco was good, brother. Hey, Papi. Hey, Papi. Hey, Papi. Hey, Papi. I'm great. How are you, sweetheart? You talking a lot of smack tonight. <laughs> I know. I always do. I always do. So you, need to get your, so you need to get your mind right to like, get you on the correct. I already spoke, so I'm right right now. Doctors for nurses, 
the lawyers fuck the fucking secretary. The police <laughs> nigga fuck the police, bro. You see what I'm saying? Pharmacists who need customers. <laughs> the pharmacy fuck the, 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 the lead doctor at night time. <laughs>
four girls in here. How, how many girls smash in the work? I work, yo. <laughs> Honey, who's that with you? Do you smash at work? Do you ever smash at work? Never did them? Pharmacists won't even look at the camera when they ask that question. She's looking off to the side. Look at all. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? Pop, y'all kind of like you. I never. I haven't had a real job until now because I'm a nurse and I'm and I'm stripped and danced. And so in my relationship, we met. I was a dancer. He was a DJ. But at that time, I was exiting of dancing. So I count, baby. Yeah. So so (laughs) no, I'm saying I was. Yes, 
back. Uh, Primal, let's get you in. Uh, let's get you in here. You uh, you 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 uh, have sex where you eat, bro? No. No. He said no. 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 He's got, hey, ladies, he's got the mini bar down there. He's got the beautiful dogs. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Hey, y'all out there looking for Zaddy? There you go, right there. Zaddy. Zaddy. I had to look that up. Zaddy. I had to look up Zaddy. I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. It's Zaddy. It's Zaddy. And you saw you, right? You saw a picture of you, right? I know. Zaddy is you. Yo, Primal, can you give me some rules? Yeah, that is. Hey. That I don't do nothing wrong by it. Ladies, he really ladies, go ahead. ladies in the chat, you looking for that white chocolate, okay? That white chocolate is going. Hey, he said he can he can do all this stuff, right? He, hey, listen. <laughs> hey, very much. There you go, right here, right here. There you go. <laughs> hey, pharmacy, you your turn, girl. Go ahead. You sure what you eat? She got married. What are you talking about? She got Relationship is two different things. 
So that's why I wanted to apologize to you because it is a difference when you, you know, smashing somebody and you're not looking for something and you have that guy that's like, you know, I'm that guy. I, I, I'm that guy. Cause we have girls. I'm that girl. I know you got a wife. I know you got a girlfriend. But we just smash. You have those type of guys. And women go for those type of guys that they just try to smash. And he's not going to tell because he's smashing <laughs> other girls. I just thought of something. It's something Aislinn, Aislinn, right? Uh-huh. Was saying earlier, she said that, um, you know, about the, the, like, women and, like, deciding wh- what they want to do, like, if they want to do this, and the guy was saying, you know, no, women don't have, don't have control over that because they kept feelings, and I, I'm, like, sitting here watching, thinking, no, there's a, there's a rule to that. Only if he's the only person she's talking to. If she if that's the only guy that she's screwing, yes. Ayende, she would be at risk. But if she's he's not the only one that she's talking to, absolutely not. It's free right I love this. this. I, I, I love this, man. We're all we're all agreeing at the end of the day. My it's man Dave. Hey, listen. That's the only one she's playing. Dave. 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 Yeah, 
we got we got Alex from uh Alex from uh playing with fire and we we don't have him. Allende with the fitness, Dean over here. We trying to literally yo, we got people over here, we're gonna transform you into a whole new man. Gonna it's project, gonna be bro. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna be like I'm a male makeover.
Yeah, but that's the same thing. That's everybody. That's a human thing. I swear to God, I was about to say that just now. I was about to say that. Yeah, people think all day. It's a thing. You can't be exactly everything that you are. Steve needs to add the ninja to his title. Steve the Dean Ninja. Yeah, no, that's right. No, no, yeah, he he did it, man. We're going to have more shorts like that, man. Like, we're going to literally have, like, a friend. Because here's the thing. You know, we, we talk to a lot of dudes all the time. You know, guy, a lot of guys listen to the show, right? 80% of you guys are here, you know. Um, great. You guys need to learn stuff. And a lot of you guys are here from different podcasts and different shows who are also in this space. But you guys aren't getting the necessary information. Either you have podcasts that have women on it, but you're not really getting the right information. And most of these guys are just, yeah, you know, look at our struggles. It's fine. Look at pay attention to us. You know, you know what I'm and, 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 and there are other podcasts out here that just teach you how to be tricks. I'm going to let you all know right here. This is the place where you can have honest opinions from women. Because what, what they say, they talk about, hey, if we have real guys out here and we have women out here, the women are not going to be honest. Well, guys, we have a lot of honest women here on the show. So here's the thing. Listen, listen. You just got to be able to be able to listen and understand. It's out here, man. And, and that, that's what yeah, you're right, Dan, because they, they don't value that women's experiences are important. That's the problem. They don't think that women's experiences are, oh, shit, you got nothing. Uh, you got to you gotta catch him on the replay. He, like, I'm telling you, he ain't, like literally. When we talk about guys on here, got like we, we got game. Like every lady guy up here, like they know what we're talking about. So when we were trying to be honest with you, we tell you things that like the normal guy who would look at women like you. The problem is when you want when you want nice guys to think that you, they're going to judge you. They're gonna think. They're going to think that you're slores and sluts and whores and all that bad stuff. I'm not going to judge. My kind will not judge you. We will accept you for what you are. And we will not try to change you. We will. Hey, we, hey come here. Let me hug you. We got you. All you ladies over here, I accept you. All you pretty ladies, I accept you. I'm not going to judge you. And that's what I said. Dean is the type of person that I would call. I, 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 if I want to play games. <laughs> This is a judgment free zone. He's planning for this. Judgment free. Yeah. Hey, that's a no real. That's a. You know I'm making y'all smile. No, that's a that's a good point, man. I tell people all the time, man. You want to be good woman, don't judge. Real talk. The whole thing with the body counts and whatnot that they're telling you, it doesn't fucking matter. It really doesn't. Really, it does not give a it, it don't don't worry about it. Stop judging women, and you'll realize a woman's gonna be more inclined to be open and honest with you if she feels like you're not gonna. Touch her and say, oh, you, oh, 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 you, you be paying 50, guys. Oh, how dare you? Like, my feelings are hurt. Listen, because you're going to get butt hurt anyway. So why the fuck are you asking? Why do you care? But like, real talk. Like, don't give yourself that burden. Because otherwise, that's going you, you just going to fuck up the game for yourself. All right? Just because she had all these different partners don't mean nothing. All right? It really doesn't. You judge them based off of that. Now, if she can't, if she can't, if she doesn't, if she's showing you signs, right? Obviously, you have good discernment, right? If she's showing you signs that she's not a keeper, then don't waste the time. Time with that, but ultimately, don't sit there and you know ask questions that you're not ready for the answer. This is real because listen, don't judge women, it's not going to work out for you. You're only talking yeah, yourself out the box. It really what, is. What, what are the signs that she's got a keeper? What are the signs y'all look for that a woman is for the streets? Oh, I'm, 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 Like 
What you mean? So you wait for me to do all this? I'm gonna tell you right now. You lucky you cute, cause I'm not the pursuing type. But you, like, there was something about you that I just kept pushing. When you tell me if I hadn't have pushed, you would have just been like, you know what I'm saying? So girls, they don't. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yo, you gotta understand. Most guys, <laughs> unless you're really damn beautiful, they're not gonna pursue you like that. I don't got time for that. <laughs> so, but I'm just saying. But like, real talk, she gives you the birdie energy. She's available to you, and she's willing to get on your program and not combat with you and shit like that. Oh. I'm a, I'm a, we're going to see about that ring. We're going to put you on the path to the ring. See, here's the thing I was talking about. Girlfriend used to be a status, all right? People just throw a girlfriend, boyfriend out, you know, randomly. But when you're dating, right, you're dating to become a girlfriend. Once you get a girlfriend, it's the path to become a, to, to, to marriage, right? And once you get married, it's the path to build a legacy. These things used to be the basic layout steps. For some reason, we got the words misconstrued. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm uh, he's my boyfriend. It turns out y'all just talking. Oh, we're, we're, we're just, it, it doesn't make any sense. You see what I'm saying? So when you earn the title of girlfriend, all right, that means, listen, that's serious. That's a serious title. That means we're working for something towards something great. I know guys right now, as soon as you get, because we're talking about the celibacy nonsense, right? Listen, listen, I know guys right now. It's not, it's not. I, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I'm not coming at you, baby. I'm not coming at you. Hey, 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 pharmacy, I ain't coming at you, girl. Come on. Whatever. Uh, but here's the thing. It's not, 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 I, what I was trying to say, hey, God damn. What I was trying to say is, I was just saying that, like, I know guys out here who would tell a girl, right, they, they fuck around with you and whatnot, but the minute they make you their girlfriend and they have those beliefs, and I, I know a lot of little dudes, they're not doing it. Sorry. What is this? <laughs> Your credit up, all right? There you go. Hey. 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 
money. Hey, 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 Primal, you do realize that almost 20% of women are watching this, right? Woo! That's a large percentage of women. I don't know how many of them are black women. Uh, this or that. And YouTube doesn't give you that data. It just, uh, it just gives you age. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I would tell you this. We have, so the, in the age group right now, 25 to 35, we're like killing it, right? Age group, 25 to 35. And then women, and y'all don't know, like in this manosphere, like relationship space on YouTube, first of all, there are a whole lot of women on YouTube uh, in terms of just watching and content creators too. But uh, in the manosphere, they have about 3 to 5%. Bro, we're almost at 20% of women. Like they're watching the show with moms, girlfriends, wives, things like that. So it, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, you on something right where it's like you can you can be objective about the truth about dating and then, you know, you have the other side that's want to come on and have the conversation and say, yeah, you know, I'm not scared of having this. I'm like, yeah, I do uh, agree with that. And comfortable enough to be honest, right? Because that's the thing. We want women to be honest so guys can get the real deal out here so they can go ahead and find them, you know, uh, whatever woman that works for. But I'm going to let y'all go for the next five minutes and then do your thing. I'm going to shut up. Go ahead. Do your thing. Speaking of that 5% women, shout out to the chat. Y'all are the best, man. Y'all are the best. You keep this entertaining. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the mods in the chat. You keep it keep the troll fan up and working. So I just appreciate you all. You make this a lot of damn fun. So thank you, everybody in the chat. And that's another thing. I think I literally think the trolls are gone, bro. I, this has been like the third fucking stream, and they're not there. They had that one big ass attack that last stream that we had. When they re they went all out. Yeah, they they got listen. There are a lot of guys out here who like to watch from a distance because they're not used to you know real men having real conversations with real women. So, you know, when they see gorgeous women talking about the stuff, they just want to come in here and troll. And it seems like either some of them are getting the message and starting to fall in line, or some of them, they, I mean, they're gone. I don't know what it is, but we're troll. I would say we're troll free. All right, we don't want to 100% say that, but for so far, we don't know where they are. Don, 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 we're talking Kevin, about that. Kevin Samuels but, is live right now. That might be where they are. <laughs> oh, they probably, they're probably going over to troll him, yeah? I'm just saying, right, I don't know. <laughs> Kevin does got the older crowd up there, so they, they, yeah. I mean, I don't know. They, they're looking for, they're looking for the, 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 they're looking for hot women. They want, they want younger, hot ladies. I think you got a face to be on his shit, yo. Like, <laughs> you know, you know, pay hey. or whatever. You got to pay the interest. That's right. You got to pay the membership, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The membership, you got to be a membership and whatnot. Yo, I want everybody, man. Fifty cent right now. Oh man! Hey, let's do this. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go line by line. All right, we'll start with the ladies first, cause you know, ladies first. We'll let you all go. All right, what y'all, what y'all, what, what y'all loved about the discussion we had on here? What y'all thought about it? You know, your thoughts. Uh, your thoughts about the actual discussion of yourself. Your thoughts about the show. Let us know. We'll start with you, Jay Naive. Jay, nine. I, I, was, I know, right? She, 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 she deadly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rectify. Let's go. <laughs> she, that's gonna, no, just kidding. Um, I was shocked that it was even still a question of did you date at work? I thought I was thinking I was concerned that, that people were actually contemplating doing that again. Like I thought it was. I thought we had fixed all of that and we were done. And so I was like, oh my god, are they really about to start this shit up again? <laughs> it's very uh, I mean, there's it, it, really a whole lot to discuss about that. Hey, I have a question though, real quick. At the final, what is your type? Oh, uh, 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 he's speechless. I, 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 I don't, I don't like to, I don't like to, I don't like to discriminate. I don't like to discriminate. I don't like to rule out anything. But I like a nice, feminine, beautiful, intelligent, hardworking, empathetic. Listen, 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 here's what I say. I say, guys, 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 y'all looking for, hey, the women 
y'all want over here. All right, the women that y'all want are over here. I don't care what y'all talk about, okay? Y'all want to go deal with these other, other podcasts with all these other people. Hey, listen, y'all looking for women. You are looking for women who have all the straightforward, honest conversations. Y'all, y'all stands and clones out there over there. Come over here. This is where the real conversation is at. This is where the women are. This is where they congregate. The ones you're looking for to marry, right? For, re- uh, for relationships. So why don't you come on in, listen to the conversations, and maybe, you know, you might, you might uh, find you one. I don't know. Because I am single and very... Thirsty. <laughs> there you go. Oh, fellas. Y'all like that story, right? Rhymal. Rhymal, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, I, I spaced out for a second there. What am I going to <laughs> He's like, <"Sad." laughs> uh, uh, Hey, so let's move on. Let's move I was, on. I was, let's, imagine, let's I was imagining my, my, my type, and I, yeah, I got lost for a second there. <laughs> oh, whoa. Nikki just threw you out of you, man. Ooh, he said, hey, listen, catch me off straight. <laughs> Let, let's go. Hey, uh, um, hey, hey, Aislinn, Aislinn, how you doing? What do you think about the show so far, the conversations? What are your thoughts? Uh, I like the conversation. I think it's uh, important to have these conversations. Um, I think it's it's a positive uh, thing that you're bringing this platform uh, to the public because I think like the biggest, biggest disconnect in men and women's relations uh, concerning they want to have relations together it's like we just don't talk about things it's so like it's so taboo to have these questions or like i must be stupid for thinking this thing but like if we just talk about it it's so important to to have that perspective and i think that um some people you know they don't want to be com- come off as like naive or you know whatever it may be and so i think in terms of the show and the platform uh, I think it's really important to, to bridge that gap. Um, and also, you know, somebody might have a stupid question, but people have stupid questions. It's human nature. And to have answers and make it not not taboo is just um, a positive direction. And so I like it. Appreciate it. I appreciate it, Aislinn. I appreciate it. Go ahead, honey. What you think, girl? What's going on? What's going on with you? I mean, I, I like it. I like the show. I like the content. I like I like the people, how honest everyone is, and also it's like a learning, it's a learning experience for the people viewing and us, you know, us just talking and conversing, and it, it it's an eye opener to see other people's experiences dealing with relationships because every relationship is not the same, every person is not the same, every situation is not the same. Like I've been saying, you just got to find your match. And you got to know what you're going to put up with and what you're not going to put up with. <laughs> and that goes That's to facts. men and women. No, it's no manual to relationships. just like it's no manual to life and parenting and all that. You have to kind of go through it. That's facts. I, I, Pharmacy. I, What's good? What's good, girl? Well, first of all, I want to know why Marcus is hating on me, number one. But anyway, yeah, he hates me, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I just, lo- I do love the openness, the interaction, and we can have like totally different opinions, but we don't get heated or in a, in a negative way. The, the energy, I love the energy. It's very positive, and I love that. And women and men, we get each other. We get along. Yeah. So that's what I love about it. All right, shit. Let's let the guys go. Let's start with uh, a primal. We'll go with Poppy. We'll, and then we'll, we'll have the uh, authentic alphas, the mind mindset. We'll have y'all go, and then we'll close out. Yeah. Go ahead, um, Primo. I mean, just just shout out to everybody in the chat. Y'all keep this entertaining and fun. Appreciate you all. Keep it up. We love seeing you. Keep coming back. Tell your friends. Tell your friends about the other people in the panel's channels. Go hit those up. I see Poppy Blanco kind of spreading some of the word there. He's doing that PR recruitment type <laughs> venture for us all, so appreciate that. But yeah, it's just it's good, open, honest conversations, and I love hearing different perspectives and seeing what y'all's taking. So I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody on the panel. I appreciate the uh, the silent ninja team, Steve the, Steve the Dean man up in the corner. I appreciate AA. I'm surprised AA wasn't eating a snack. He didn't have a snack this whole time. Oh, you no, he did. 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 He did
Uh, this yeah. man eats 5,000 calories a day plus, okay? I don't even know that. That's a, listen, man. Listen, I work out. I don't even have the time to eat that much. Like, you give me about 100, 1,200, I'm, I'm already. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but in all seriousness, this is fun as hell. I mean, y'all are great. Panel's great. Channel's great. Just keep it up, everybody. Appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing you next time in the house. That's what's up. Let's go, uh, uh, Poppy. Let's do it. Hey, man, I, I'm gonna repeat what my man Prime was saying, man. This is the place to be right here, man. I know, <laughs> I know the ain't that nigga. I just got introduced to this shit right here. Everybody, man, subscribe to my man. I yan this shit. Good stuff. Subscribe to my man Dean the Freak. Some good stuff. <laughs> the the freak. <laughs> to the pharmacist girl, my girl. Some good conversation over there. My girl J9. J9 Heath, right? Yeah. Yep. Right? Her weirdo, her weirdo channel. You know what I mean? You want to get weird a little bit over there? Go over there. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. Let's keep on. Let's keep growing, man. Let's keep growing this little community right here, yo. I appreciate you me, that, man. You got me on a Friday night here, man. I mean, it's early where I'm at, so I still got to go out. Yeah. Yeah. You're in, you're in Arizona, right? Way out yes, west. Yes, sir. It's early. It's over here. It's only 9 o'clock over here. Oh, it's yeah. It's, it, 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 damn, it's 11 up here. It's 12 <laughs> over here. Right? 12? Yeah, midnight. 12. Oh, yeah. So you're you're eastern, right? Yeah. Oh, no. West. Yeah. West. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Mountain. 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 Okay, that makes sense. Sorry. All right, then uh, up, man. Yeah, I, I just want to. I just want to say that uh, to, to all those people that are watching this, uh, there's the, you hopefully you can see that there's nothing wrong with women. They're sexy and they're gorgeous, and, and you can see they don't have all. I'm gonna sit around and say they do. Or you look at this panel of women, they they may have their own opinions and stuff, but you see how they smile, you see how they're interacting. You see the enjoyment that they're having on this panel. So all you red pill motherfuckers that don't have no can't get no game and can't get no ass and shit like that. <laughs> it's funny right here. Uh, all y'all yeah, so I'm, just, yeah, I'm, I'm saying, man. I'm saying, man. Yeah, how, how can y'all guys not try to bite these women's necks and take them up the tree? They some bad ass women, y'all. See, y'all make a lot for us. See, I'm cool with that real. But I'm say, I'm cool with that real pill shit. It's more for motherfuckers like me. I appreciate y'all not trying to get in women because you know what? When you see beautiful women that, you know what, they got it going on, you make moves. But I just want to say thank you to the panel and everything. Thank you to the chat room dogs out there and everything. But, man, ladies, one more time. Let me give you a hug.
That's facts, man. Like, I, the real talk, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate all of you guys being here. I appreciate all your honesty, sharing your experiences. Because real talk, that's what this is all about, experiences. I mean, when we started this, you know, you hear some of these other guys, they don't, they think that women's experiences don't matter. Or even some other guys' experiences don't matter. But we're going to let you know that it does. Because real talk, how are you going to have a relationship if you don't understand where the woman's coming from? How are you going to have a proper relationship? How are you going to learn how to keep a man if you don't understand where the man's coming from? So these are the important things where we have to start having these dialogues dialogues so then guys and girls can figure out okay is this what men are actually looking for i can't have i can't tell you how many times some of the women we had on the panel were surprised that men were a lot simpler than they thought and because no no one really takes the time to listen no we, we're really simple we don't really do a whole lot we're simple creatures but these are the kind of things that we need to start understanding even when it comes to understanding women a lot of guys are starting to find it easier to understand them and realize hey Women aren't as complex as we initially thought, all right? They're not this weird, mysterious kind of other entity that we really don't want to understand how to talk to, all right? They're just human beings like us, and a lot of times they have the same thinking and thought patterns when it comes to certain things, and they have their own strategies to deal with certain things, but we just don't understand that, or we have it misrepresented in certain ways, right? So it's honest, it's, it's uh, up to us to have these honest conversations, so that way we can help you guys have better discernment when you're going out there and dealing with women. Because I'm going to tell you guys this right now. We keep going in the... In the, in the, in the <laughs> you talking good. Oh, girl. <laughs> you talking about making that kitty burn. Hey, listen. <laughs> we talking about having... We talking about <laughs> having that dialogue, having these two conversations. It's very important, man, because... Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, we keep going the direction we're going. Well, a lot of guys out here saying, fuck it, I'm going to take my ball, I'm going to go home, she rejected me, fuck it, I ain't going to talk to no woman no more. Listen, that's not going to be good for you, because you're going to need a woman at some point. That's what it is. We Women and men, we have needs, man. We both have needs, and we need each other. That's the number one thing. We just got to figure out how to talk to each other. That's what it is. I right, talk to the chat. I appreciate you guys being here. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And for those of you guys, tomorrow around 4.30 or 4.30 Eastern, all right, we're going to have Grind and Motivate back on. We're going to be having some conversations, all right, because there's some interesting shit that's going on in this space uh, that we need to talk about, all right? Y'all know about that Glenn and Cameron. We're going to cover that a little bit. But there's another dude who's on some some per pervy predator shit. And we're going to expose that, too. You best believe it. So uh, if, it's, if, it, if it's out here preaching bad ideas and y'all in this space, you're going to get exposed. Uh -huh, we watching you, too. So uh, it is what it is. So. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys being here. All right? You guys can be anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here. And with that, I thank you. With that being said, catch